I've completed almost every single Call of Duty campaign on veteran difficulty and it was insane. But some of these missions were brutally challenging. So challenging that I spent days reflecting on life after doing them. These are the 10 hardest Call of Duty missions on veteran difficulty. Number 10, Echoes of a Cold War. Most of this mission is pretty easy, but the ending is the part that gets hard. You have to escape Mount Yamantel by getting on a crate that gets carried by a helicopter. There is limited cover and you can die in one hit, so be careful. There is no checkpoint in this part, so if you die, you have to do the escape section again, which can get tedious. Number 9. Loose Ends In this mission, you have to download files on the DSM and you must shoot the infinitely spawning enemies until the files are done downloading. If you die while doing this, you have to do the downloading process all over again, and the downloading process is really, really long. Luckily, once you download the files, there will be a checkpoint, but when you try to escape Makarov's alleged safe house, you must run down a hill with mortars firing on you, and an absurd amount of enemies just shooting at you. And if you die at this part, you will spawn all the way back at the house. Number 8, Takedown. This mission kinda makes me scared of Brazil. The reason why is because you have to capture Alejandro Rojas in the favela, while chasing him, there are enemies all over the place. Enemies shooting you from the rooftops, enemies suddenly shooting from the windows, enemies firing RPGs, like there is very limited cover and you can die at any moment. And thank god there is no time limit, cause otherwise this mission would be downright impossible. Number 7, Vendetta. At some point in this mission, you will have to kill a German sniper. This is extremely difficult and the main reason is that, since this is veteran difficulty, you will die instantly if he shoots you. The sniper moves very quickly which makes it almost impossible to shoot him. Almost every time you do manage to shoot him, Reznov will always say, You only wounded him! Or, You just raised him! After you somehow manage to kill the sniper, you get into a shootout with Nazis. Since this is Call of Duty World at War, you will get a stupid amount of grenades thrown at you. You now have to kill General Amsel, which is tiresome because you have a lot of other Nazis shooting at you, and Amsel is quickly moving to cover, which, like, come on now. Number 6, Heat. This mission got me heated. Towards the end of this mission, you have to escape by running through a field, down a mountain, and into the helicopter. Sounds easy, right? Wrong. First of all, there is a time limit of only 3 minutes. Enemies spawn infinitely, there is a lack of cover, and checkpoints are very spread out. If you die while trying to get to the helicopter, you will spawn all the way back at the barn. Unfortunately, there is another mission in Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare that is even harder, but I'll get to that later in this video. Number 5, Executive Order. Is it possible to get high blood pressure from a video game? I have no clue, but this mission probably made it possible. There is a time limit in the mission, but there are some checkpoints in that part where the time limit is, so that part of the mission isn't that difficult. But near the end of the mission, you have to go past a staircase, a corridor, a computer room, and another corridor, and there aren't any checkpoints while doing that. So if you die while going through these corridors, you're gonna have to do that section all over again. And if you leave cover, a guaranteed death will be upon you, and the only way I managed to get through this part of the mission was by using smoke grenades, and even then, this blasted mission was still hard. Man, always the same story. Number 4, One Shot, One Kill After a failed assassination attempt against Imran Zakaev, 
Price and McMillan have to escape Pripyat in order to survive. The first half of this mission is not that difficult, but after McMillan gets injured by a falling helicopter, it does get hard. And the reason why is because you have to carry him to the LZ while people are shooting at you. The evacuation helicopter takes a stupidly long time to arrive, and while you wait for it, you have to defend yourself against ultranationalists. They spawn infinitely and spam grenades until the helicopter arrives. Pay attention! He's dying. If you get killed, you have to wait for the helicopter all over again. When the helicopter arrives, there is still no checkpoint and you can die very quickly while carrying McMillan to the helicopter. Number 3, No Fighting in the War Room This mission has a time limit depending on the difficulty. If you do it on Recruit or Regular, it's 15 minutes. However, if you do it on Hardened or Veteran, it's 9 minutes. You have to do this in 9 minutes in order to abort the Russian missiles heading for the east coast. Checkpoints are sparsely scattered and if you die, depending on how much time you have left, you could possibly spawn back near the beginning of the mission. The mid part of the mission alone took me 3 weeks to do because enemies spawn infinitely until you progress. Progressing is almost unthinkable and you could die the second you step away from cover. But luckily, once you abort the missiles, there is a checkpoint and the rest of the mission won't be as difficult. Number 2, Heart of the Reich. First of all, this mission is a lot harder than it looks. And since this mission is from Call of Duty World at War, I promise you, you will have a problem with grenade spam constantly throughout this mission. And Treyarch is absolutely evil for putting checkpoints that are so spread out because in this mission there are probably only like 6 checkpoints in total, that's how spread out they are. And enemies spawn infinitely. They will spawn infinitely until you progress further on in the mission which is almost impossible because you could die instantaneously the second you leave cover. Once you get to the front of the Reichstag, a pillar will fall and if, the, if it falls on you, then oh well too bad because you have to go all the way back to whatever the checkpoint was which like I said it has spread out checkpoints in this mission so you're gonna have a bad time that's all I'm gonna say number one mile high club there is one word that can describe this mission hell in this mission, you have to run across this entire two-story airplane and shoot all the enemies in the span of less than 60 seconds. There are a ridiculous amount of enemies crammed in a single area. And remember, this is on veteran difficulty, so that means you can die in less than two or three shots. If you die, you have to start over the mission from the very beginning. So those were my 10 hardest missions on veteran difficulty. Although each mission on veteran was insane, these missions were something else. Anyways, if you thought this video was good, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.